Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hellblaze, at thehellblaze.com. 100% all natural products from lotions, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, and much, much more. Use the promo code GOODFELLA1BOXING. Tell them your boy CJ Goodfella since you get 18% off. We out. All right, uh, Adrian Broner calls out Floyd Mayweather for exhibition. He said, what, 30, 35 million? Uh, I think one of them can make or he can make. But uh, also, Brandon Marshall continues to call out Deontay Wilder. <laughs> Says he can outbox Wilder, so let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. And, um, you know, if you're going to do an exhibition, why not versus Adrian Broner? That's going to sell regardless. That should be a real fight. Why not fight Adrian Broner? You fought Andre Berto. You already fought one A.B., you might as well fight all the ABs. And people think AB jealous of Floyd. He just don't like how Floyd treated different from everybody else from what I heard. And my thing about it is, you know, Floyd pretty much created PBC by, you know, joining forces with Al Heyman and really launching that platform. And without Floyd, there probably ain't no PBC. And he, he does have ownership in PBC as well. So, I mean, I ain't mad at Adrian Broner. I mean, you know, I would love to see Floyd get in the ring with 50 Cent. Why not? If Floyd want to fight Logan or Jake Paul, whichever Paul he's trying to fight, why we can't see him get in the ring with 50 and get in the ring with Adrian Broner? That's going to break every pay-per-view number. He no longer an uh, 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 active boxer. Why not be a, you know, launch celebrity boxing? It'd be great. First, you know, first season of celebrity boxing, the first fight is him versus 50 Cent or him versus Adrian Broner. Or him and Adrian Broner fighting in a real fight, though. Are well, you scared that A.B. going to beat him? Why not fight A.B.? You know what I'm saying? Get everybody what they want. No matter how, many, how much A.B. lose, A.B. still get people to believe he can beat Floyd Mayweather. It's going to be people outside of Ohio, outside of Cincinnati, that believe A.B. can beat Floyd Mayweather and will beat Floyd Mayweather. Do I believe that to be true? No. But Manana did kind of hint that Adrian Broner was stronger than Floyd. You know? But you know, I don't know why Floyd wouldn't take that fight. Maybe he... Said he didn't want to fight Adrian Broner, but he stooped to all different levels to make money. And to keep his money. You know, endorsing Donald Trump. Endorsing, um, uh, Donald, you know, saying a good word for Donald Sterling. He, he do all that type of shit. So, my whole thing is, why not when he still blow and fight Adrian Broner? We're not actually to fight Keith Thurman, Terrence Crawford, Earl Spence. You didn't fight those guys during his career. And every time he fought a, a black fighter... Floyd Mayweather would barely get by. Or or he would have a scary moment. Shane, a couple scary moments. Chop Chop almost stopped him. Zap dropped him. You know, so, you know, every time he fought, you know, a black fighter that's somewhat still kind of relevant or in a prime, he have a scare. Bro, Floyd wasn't trying to fight no black fighters. He wasn't even trying to fight Joshua Clotty. You know, him and Clotty wouldn't have probably made the best fight, but, you know, he didn't fight Clotty, didn't fight Paul Williams, didn't want to fight Keith. Was this mandatory for a while? Earl, I mean, not Earl, but uh, Arisandi Lara was his mandatory, so... I think Floyd Mayweather got a phobia of fighting black fighters because he just, because they understand that shit. He, they understand that. Floyd Mayweather ain't the greatest in nothing in boxing. He ain't got the greatest condition, not the greatest chin. He, he might, you know, you can make a case say he's the greatest defender, but I'll probably go ahead and say Pernell Whitaker or Willie Pep over him. But, you know, I'll probably say he most the fundamental. We probably can make that. Oh, he ain't the most fundamental fighter out there. Okay, if you want to say that, I don't have a problem with it. I really don't, but um, talking about it last night, like we were saying that Sugar Ray Robinson would have knocked him out. Yeah, that fight wouldn't have made it far, <laughs> like two or three rounds. Ray Robinson was just a different animal. Floyd ain't the great. Floyd ain't no great welterweight. I'm just trying to tell people that maybe Adrian Broner would have a chance. Maybe the best Broner come out that day. I don't know, but it's something I would be interested in. If Floyd, if Floyd want to do clown shows. Why not even Floyd go over to the UK when everything clear up and do uh and do exhibitions over there and go to Australia and fight their best fighters? I wouldn't mind that. They ain't really disrespecting the game, but fighting a, a, a civilian, a YouTuber, come on. You can fight Adrian Broner and make two or three or four or five times you make with Paul, whatever Paul he fighting. He fight 50 Cent. They're going to sell more pay-per-views. They do a three-rounder, one-rounder, five-rounder, MMA, 10-rounder. They're going to make more money than they ever made. You know? So why not fight Adrian Broner? What are you scared of? His speed, his athleticism, his strength. What you got to lose? He going to hurt your feelings in the build-up? He going to say something about you in the build-up that you ain't going to like? That's what I don't understand. Like, why not? If you want to be a clown show and fight YouTubers and fight Conor McGregor, then why not do it? You know, people talking he the GOAT. Nowhere near the GOAT. I know 
25, 30 fighters, they got better, they fought better fighters than he did and had better resumes than he did. You know, oh, you hating? See, I ain't hating Floyd Mayweather when that fucking great loss to Madonna, for God's sake. You know, great, the greatest fighter of all time. He won't even fight black fighters. Then he won't even let his protege, uh, Floyd will let me, uh, fight black fighters. You know, I, I fight Ted Farmer, uh, I, I fight Loma. But, hey, Brian, you know, Floyd, you know, I be right, guy. You know, I had lyric every day. Lyric. Oh, my, my. Come on, you know, let his protege fight black fighters. So, I mean, he didn't fight him. He fought him every time he fought him, he had a scare. You know, this is the truth. He be all day. Floyd don't want this fight. He, he don't want the work. You know, uh-uh. All day. I went to this with Pacquiao. I cooked that. No, he don't fight him, man. You know, he ain't fighting. He ain't fighting nobody. That's why he really didn't want to fight Amir Khan. Because Amir Khan had some athleticism. Floyd was fearing guys who, who was athletic. Floyd feared guys that, that can match his speed and be slick. He feared them type of guys. You know, and the people want to act like it wasn't true. It was true. You know, but hey, it is what it is. Let me know what you think about Adrian Burner Floyd fighting an exhibition. Or what you think about AB calling him out in the exhibition. I think they should fight for real. Why not? You know, but Adrian Floyd ain't trying to fight no black fighters. Or maybe he got love for Adrian. You know, I know they were saying that, you know, they was jealous because Floyd was taking him and Tank women. But they said Burner and Tank was taking this hoes too. You know, uh, Tank was dating his, uh, his ex-girlfriend. I don't know why it's like that in the entertainment world. In sports world with everybody date the same women. I never understood that. All these women out there in the world, they they piping down the same women. To me, that just didn't make no. That ain't make no sense to me. But um, yeah, Brandon Marshall continues to call out Deontay Wilder to a fight. I mean, that's a. You know, he said he can outbox Wilder. He said he can fight. He got a Vander Holyfield, I guess, helping him out, but he said he never had a fight. You think he'll go in there and beat a professional? You could say whatever you want to say about Deontay Wilder. He unorthodox or, you know, he don't have no boxing skills. For you to become a world champion, you got to have some skills. Look what he did to Bermain Stavern in the first fight. He outboxed Bermain Stavern. And do we understand as far as which that angle, that right hand will come? That, that fight wouldn't go long. You know, that's just my opinion. You know, you talking about Brandon Marshall because you can fight in the street. Fighting in the street and hitting the bag or sparring, it's totally different than talking about a, a former world champion who getting guys out there one punch. He can jab. You know, if you look at, oh, Wilder look garbage. Wilder can't box and get in the ring of Wilder. You don't be the guy like Luis Ortiz, you know, not knowing how to box. You don't be the guy like Bermain Stavern who had a good amateur background knowing how to box, you know. You don't drop, a, you don't drop Tyson Fury twice not knowing how to box. That's my whole thing about it. You know, I think people starting to think boxing is a joke. When you see the Paul brothers and YouTubers fighting, you know, and you're not thinking these fighters are good as are fighters from yesterday. I think people starting to take boxing as a joke. And it's going to take one example. And I thought Floyd Mayweather and Paul, or Jake Paul and Logan Paul was going to be the example. But it's not a game. It takes a lot of dedication. You just can't jump into boxing and, and get ready to box. You got guys like Adonis Stevenson that did it at 29 years old. You know, Michael Coffey, who knocked out Damani Rock this past weekend, he doing it, but he was a Marine. You know, you just people just think you can come into boxing and I can challenge Mayweather, I can challenge Deontay Wilder. They might not be Marvin Hagler, Ray Leonard, Ray Robinson, Sonny Liston, but goddamn, these dudes professionals, you know, doing Wilder won a bronze medal. <laughs> you think Brandon Marshall, all the crazy in him, you know. I remember he got in trouble in Denver when they limo got shot at and all that. No matter how, he, he probably feel comfort, confident. He probably get out a better chance of Wilder in an MMA fight, but Wilder land with them gloves on, he going he might, he might, they gonna be singing "Take Me to the King." We gonna be done with, you know. So personally, if I'm him, nah, I wouldn't challenge. I wouldn't challenge Dillian White. None of these dudes. Wilder, Brandon Marshall, just be Brandon Marshmallow. Yeah, he a Molly Wop, you know. Brandon Marshall, but you know, I, I admire the I admire the, the, the courage and the grit 
and the conviction. And people said, well, Tyson Fury didn't want to fight him. And AJ never wanted to fight him. And, you know, at least Brandon Marshall got balls to fight him. I mean, whatever makes you sleep better at night. But, hey, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You reach out if you have business questions, inquiries, sponsorship, video requests, all our social media links in the description. Fast way to reach me. It's Twitter and Facebook and Instagram. All the links in the description. I also got a Facebook group link there as well, too. Want to make a financial donation? Cash app CJ Good 313. That's in the description. PayPal link there. We done.